Okay, now this entire unit is focused on a story. And it's a whole series of uh, making requests and conditionals. Um, and it's one of those cascading stories where it starts out here uh, and it's got to go to here. Kind of gotta, you've got to go down into the funnel deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And then you get a solution for the part out and out and out and out and you work your way out. Um, if you're familiar with the story, it's about a fox who is thirsty and drinks uh, a bucket of milk. The farmer's wife cuts off his tail. He wants his tail back. And she says, then get me my milk back. Um, don't look for logic. It's a children's story. Um, so it's going to be a lot of role shifting back and forth. So there are a lot of layers that we can look at in this. It's a long story. Uh, in I suspect in the newer version of the textbook, they're going to go with a more, much shorter story. Um, but this one has many steps. Uh, I think actually this story appears in the um, earlier edition, the unit 7 to 12 of Sunday Nature. Sorry, I've got stuff in my pocket. Um, 7 to 12 in a shorter form. Uh, but this is a sort of expanded version. Um, I like to do it in class where people like break up in groups of three and then work their way through it. Um, because that way, three or four people, it's enough of a story. This is a pretty long one. Um, especially because the way, if you read how this is uh, instructed for the classroom from the teacher book, I'm supposed to tell the entire story, which is like a 20 minute story, and then talk about it. And 20 minutes is just too long for students to really process that information and hold it in their head. So anyways, um, Thirsty Fox drinks the milk. You can read all this. It's in the thing. So Fox, F, like a nose, Thirsty Fox, milk or milk, pale, you can describe it, um, cuts off the fox's tail, chop, however, draws her sword, lightsaber. Um, here's a sign for beg, like beg, where's the bottom hand, good. beg, right, please, 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 um, so he goes around and asks a whole bunch of different animals for his tail, and oftentimes you'll see this for tail, like, as if it's coming off the back, right? so we know cow, or cow, um, grass, to eat, um, field, grassy area, um, asks grass to give, it says, give me water, I will give you. So you give me water, I will give you grass. The grass is saying it will, the field is going to give it grass. It, there's so many layers of darkness to this entire story. Anyway, so Fox goes to the stream, asks for water. And now, again, you could tell this story in the little one in a way that makes a little bit more sense by cow says, need grass. So the fox goes, ooh, I need grass. Oh, it's very dry. Oh, if I get water and pour it on, it will grow up. It'll be green. I can collect it and I can bring it. So it's a little less uh, dire and tragic. Anyway, so stream, so water flowing, um, need a jug. Um, so sees a woman, a young woman, ask for a jug. Um, she says she wants a blue bead. So it's like, Um, so Fox goes out looking, sees a peddler, half blue bead, egg, I guess he's hungry, um, I will give you one, exchange one, you give me that, I will give you, oh, Fox, hen, chicken, 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 ask for an egg. Because, of course, a hen is going to give an egg 
to a fox. Here's my baby, right? So, want some grain, um, chicken feed, seeds. I just have always finger spelled. Ask for the miller. Explaining what a miller is, I think would be appropriate there. It doesn't say anything, but fine. Assuming that everybody who knows what a miller is knows they grind seed into flour. Okay, so. And each time it goes back. I mean, it's a long, it's a long story. And it's really tedious. Like this should take a good week or two of classes to really go through all the sections. So that's why I like to, to chop it up. So if you can practice it, just practice one, one exchange at a time. And I will recommend now, think about the physicality. Like what is the difference between like a fox looking up at a cow? What? Right. So think about the role shifting aspect of, which of the characters would move slow? Which of them would move fast? Which would look up? Which would look down? Which are inanimate objects? Um, so anyway, here is a simple gloss of one way of signing this. So if you take a look through that, um, if you see RS, it means roll shift into the fox um, or into the, the farmer's wife, I guess, or whatever. Um, ICL again is a instrument classifier. DCL is description, milk all gone or empty. Nothing. Um, and you can practice. Now, I, I'm going to try to find a link to one version of this story. Let me see if I can find one. Okay. Uh, I just scrolled through a whole bunch of student videos of doing one fine day, which would not be really helpful. <laughs> uh, if you just go on Google, on YouTube and search for ASL one fine day, I feel like every teacher gives their students homework to record themselves and post it there. Uh, I had a hard time. I couldn't find a teacher doing it. So uh, do look for it. Go compare a bunch of different student ones. Um, find someone you want to watch, whatever. I, again, but you want to take it in little pieces. Figure out how to sign it. If you have a partner that you can work with, um, you can even do it over Zoom. I mean, it's really something you could just have a simple dialogue back and forth. Um, so again, this goes all the way through all of the different steps. Just chop them up. And technically, we're supposed to do it together, and then I hand out a sheet, and you do it yourself. But it's all right here. Um, so really, it's practicing this story. If you take, if you watch someone else do it on YouTube, just take a look and see what's clear and what isn't clear, and try to emulate the clear parts and ignore the parts that uh, don't make sense. All right. And then there's more vocab. And really, as I said, 1411 is a pretty short chapter. 